PR. You know, people, and again, general marketing. People kind of people say to me, oh, I don't have a product yet, so there's nothing to market. That is literally one of the most ridiculous things I've ever heard. And I hear it every day. I don't have a product, what am I gonna market? What do you mean you don't have a product, what are you gonna market? Now is when you need to market, so that when you have the product, they're there waiting. The community, everybody, they, you know. My, my, my startup now, and I'm a co-founder, is Zcast, right? It's a podcasting platform. I'm not gonna go into the whole history of what happened, but I'll tell you from a PR perspective what we did. So six months or eight months before launch, we knew we were launching in January last year, and we had a prototype, literally like JPEGs. I kid you not, like nothing, we nothing. And I'm like, all right, so we don't have money for like, you know, generating buzz, and I hate that word, but we didn't, we didn't have any money to spend, so how do I start generating pre-launch interest? So I thought to myself, what are my assets? What do I have? I have pictures of a cool looking app, and I have relationships. I'm meeting smart people every day. So what did I do? I do my normal shtick, right? I meet with a smart guy, I'm you know, meeting with VCs, meeting with people, whatever it is, and do my thing. At the end of the meeting, I'd be like, listen, I really want your opinion on something. And I'd open up the image, I, I kid you not, you can, you can YouTube this, look on YouTube. I open up the image and I'd say, listen, this is what we're doing, podcasting is a pain in the ass, there's tons of distribution, tons of, but there's no one who simplified podcasting. If I want a podcast, how do I do, this is what we're building. And then he'd be like, and I'd be, wait, wait, hold on, don't tell me your reaction yet. And I'd turn on my camera and I'd be like, you know, the first one was Amir Shvat, right? At Slack now, I was at Google then. He was the first video I did. I was like, Amir, tell me what you think. But don't tell anyone what Zcast is. Just tell me what you think of, of you know, what I just showed you. And he literally said on camera, he's like, this is gonna blow your mind, right? And then I did that over and over and over with VCs, with Facebookers, with Googlers, big, important people. And they all, and I didn't train them, by the way. I was afraid that some people would say, I don't like it. But everyone was like, this is amazing, right? And then I put that, take that video as is, put it on Facebook, put it on Twitter. That, those videos got hundreds of thousands of impressions. This is without anyone knowing what we're doing. Completely stealth, right? People, and I keep thousands, by the thousands, would email me, be like, what the fuck? Zcast already, I'm seeing it everywhere. What is it? And I'm like, just wait. Launch day. I got, I sent out an email, like a mass email to everyone saying we're finally live, you know? So how do you, how do you like measure effectiveness of email? Open rate, right? I got 40% return, reply rate. 40%, I sent it to like easily like 25, 30,000 people. 40% of the people that I sent it to replied to me saying, wow, congratulations. And I was like, that's cr what happened? People started saying to me, I feel like this is my launch. Like, I feel I'm part of this thing because they were part of it the whole, the whole way along, right? We, again, I hate the word buzz and hype and all the buzzwords, forget that garbage. But the point is, I, I pulled people in, right? By, 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 you know, this is the simplest tactic in the world. I didn't do anything. It didn't cost me anything. I just, that was just one example. But the point was, you know, people say to me all the time, I can't do marketing, I don't have a product. That's crazy, you know? You guys know Appboy? Mobile CRM, anybody hear of them? Tremendous, humongous company. They're, uh, the, the CEO is in, uh, in Toronto, I think, whatever, it doesn't matter. I think they raised like 90 or 100 million dollars. Um, so like seven years ago, I kid you not, seven years ago, a guy who I knew from like school, 20 years before that, reaches out to me and he says to me, listen, my friend has a startup, I'd love it if you'd write about it. I'm like, I don't know your friend, but sure, I'll check it out, you know? So I, I checked out what he did and I actually really liked it and so I wrote a blog post about it. I got him a couple of, he was pre-alpha, like it was way, way, way before he had a product. They got him a couple of hundred signups, you know? And remember, I don't know the CEO, I know the friend of the CEO. So then I get an email from the CEO, I was like, holy cow, how'd you do that? I'm like, oh, you know? Turns out that CEO is a guy named Mark Garmazian, who's the, his parents own the Mall of America. Hmm. Multi, multi, multi-billionaire. He's like, I'm, this isn't a question. I'm hiring you right now to write our blog. This was three years before they had a product. I kid you not. And I'm like, you know you're like three years away from your product. He's like, I don't care, we're starting now. So every day I write a blog post on the Appboy blog, the day they launched their product, they had 750,000 users. Wow. Now, that's a little crazy, right? And not every startup or every company has the resources to do that. But we took ourselves from being another startup to building a tremendous amount of value and a real community where people are actually engaged with our brand. And we, we never sold anything, we didn't have anything to sell. All we did was write and give great content. And the same thing happened with Interactive, by the way. The blog ended up selling, you know, put them on a map basically, right? I'm not saying that that's why they got bought, but. You know, they were not on the map before because they were competing with the biggest ad tech companies in the world, right? AdMob, AdMob, Millennial Media, these guys are, you know, interactive, sitting in Petro Tikva. But we were the authority in mobile advertising. How do we do that? With no money, no money spent. Now we're talking about